it's so interesting because you came from a church. Your mom, your mm. father's a preacher. Your mom's choir director, and you work with like some of the hardest, the hardest artists. Though. Like you're saying, uh, you know, Gucci went to jail. Mm-hmm. OJ just came out. Mm-hmm. Like, how did you transition to working with this dangerous crowd? Called, quote unquote. I, I I I just feel like that's a position that God put me in, because uh, I'm I'm nothing. You know, I don't do the same thing these guys do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But I'm so comfortable and I'm these are the type of people I want to be around all the time. Right. For some odd reason. And these guys brag on my lifestyle. Like Gucci, the first time, every time we go to the studio and he introduced me to somebody, hey man, this is my producer Zaytoven. He don't drink, he don't smoke, he don't cuss, he don't <laughs> that's that's his intro. To, and I'm that's, like, dang, bro, you ain't gotta do all love. that. But it just he appreciate, he his, appreciate his, your influence in his life. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So you know, and that's how we got so close. Like, mm-hmm. you know, we like we go everywhere with each other. We now Gucci is a known robber. Now this is the mm-hmm. no, he gonna run up in your house. He mm-hmm. gonna take something from you. Mm-hmm. But this is the guy I'm with all the time. And I just felt like you know that's just a position that God put me in. I remember going to church, and a lady prophesying to me, uh, a lady named uh, Diane Palmer, and she was just saying that my sound is gonna be great, or you know, my sound is gonna be heard over the nations, mm-hmm. and to not be afraid of where, you know, wherever I'm going or mm. the people I'm around, the places I'm going, mm-hmm. you know, I'm covered. I'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be covered. So don't even worry mm. about it. Because I've been in trap house. I've been to places that I probably shouldn't have been in. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know what's going on over here. Right. I'm innocently over here about music. About music. Yeah, so. um, Atlanta, in Atlanta, mm. Usher has been very, very, very good about Staying in touch with the times mm-hmm. and know which sounds is hot, it's particularly in the club. Mm-hmm. Usher like going to the club. Oh, oh, yeah. Usher, Usher will be in the club, making love in the club, and then he'll confess, <laughs> and then he'll go back to the club and make find another girl in the club yeah, yeah, and yeah. make another few records about that girl in that club. Yeah, yeah. And um, he tapped into your sound, right? So you won a yeah. Grammy with Usher yeah. in 2011 mm-hmm. yeah. on the Raymond versus Raymond album. Yes, sir. How did that come together? Um, at the time in Atlanta, around that time, around 2010. I just remember like my sound being just dominant. Mm-hmm. If you turn on the radio, if it's the hot eight at eight, mm-hmm. six or the six or seven songs of them, it was mine. You know, mm-hmm. me producing all just the different artists around. So the uh, the writer Sean Garrett reached out to me. Shout out to Sean Garrett. Yeah, man. shout out to Sean Garrett. He <laughs> reached out to me like, hey man, I, you know, I never heard of him before, mm-hmm. and all my music come from me working at my mama basement with the artists. Mm-hmm. Like I, you know, so I don't know who all these people are. Right. I don't know who the writers are, none of that. Mm-hmm. So I went to the studio. He was like, man, I need some beats, man. I'm working with Chris Brown. I'm working with Usher, this and that. And I'm like, okay, bro, whatever. Here, take some beats and you know, <laughs> and right. do what you do, whatever. You know, I never thought twice about it. He wrote the song Papers, you know, for Usher, and he was telling me like, Zay, we got a hit, we got a smash mm-hmm. with Usher, and I'm like, yeah, okay. He was telling me that for three months. <laughs> and I'm like, man, come on, bro. Okay, good. Okay, cool. We got to mm-hmm. hear with Usher. I didn't believe it till they, you know, it was like eight months later. He called me like, hey, man, so they want to go with the song. It's going to be his first single. And I'm like, oh, you for real? That was the sound of the street at that time. I though. know it, but yeah. I still, you know, it's Usher. I, yeah. people, you, girls should tell me I look like Usher back in high school. So it's like <laughs> me working with Usher is like that's something. <laughs> I ain't thinking about that. That's, you know, that's on TV. Right. You know, that's, that's too far away. Right. So... The fact that they came and said, oh, this is going to be his first single, this and that, it just blew my mind. That's like, so when I, I remember they playing the first time on the radio, they kept mm-hmm. playing it back. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, snap. I done made it. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know, this is my first time I feel like I done made it, man. Right. I, I did a song with Usher and it's on the radio. Wow. Yeah. Stuck in it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow away.